and Titan would have been fine. Welcome guys to this YouTube video and today we race. So it's a really early morning as you can see. It was around uh, 7 or 8 because uh, the races were starting pretty early. So this is the road to where the track was or rather the section of the road that was closed for these races. things first was arriving to where the race was and heading over to uh, get a medical checkup get a bike checkup so these are some of the guys that were racing uh, that's an r1 right there and a bmw s1000 single r so after the checkup we all gather around and then uh, perform a lap of honor for all the fans that were waiting for us this is where uh, all bikers assemble. It's called a pit, or uh, I've forgotten the name. Uh, you guys can remind me in the comment section. Then we all head over to uh, the track where the fans are waiting for us. So registering for this race was uh, quite. Cheap, I'd say, because one we had a few sponsors with us who are helping clear some of the bills, like uh, getting fuel and registering. So that guy right there is uh, reminding me to put my kickstand up. Yeah, apparently this bike doesn't have a kick pack, um, a kickstand sensor, so yeah, I might find yourself flying by taking a corner. So the move that you see people doing right there, the zigzag, that helps to warm up the tires so that you can get better grip. That's uh, quite effective for the rubber tires. What most people normally use even for most cars is nylon tires. I know they look like rubber but they are nylon tires. So for uh, these fast super bikes, they use uh, the like uh, good and high grade rubber yeah. so uh, this first lap was just to get everyone uh, psyched up then just to like uh, tell them that we are starting the races so that's the finish line right there because like we're moving from the pit all the way to the start line then we turn back and then start the races I wasn't expecting this much of a crowd. People actually came to these races and I hope next time there'd be more people because the more people you get, the better the races get. So yeah. Uh, that bike that you just saw there, that's a uh, Super Duke. That's a 12, 1290cc, really fast bike with a crazy amount of torque. Mm -hmm. 
So now what they're doing, uh, those race, race marshals are uh, making sure people are uh, set up right, like uh, per category. So for my category was the 250cc, which is a lightweight. So we are the ones who are supposed to be starting the races. So after the races, uh, so the first hit, uh, apparently I didn't uh, record it, so we all just assembled uh, up to like the 450 cc's where we were discussing on how we raced. This is where people throw banter, they were made fun of, but it's no hard feelings. So this was the second hit where I was paired up with uh, a guy from my category warrant. So many of us we were like five guys so this was uh, the first race that i recorded yeah so my bike compared to others has good talk because it's an off-road bike so i was expecting uh to have the best launch which did happen but then coming to top speed and uh maintaining speed i uh, was really hard for the bike so let me just let you watch this Just as I've told you, my bike picks up really, really fast because it has good torque for the category. But now, uh, on a straight line and with uh, enough distance, yeah, the other bike, I stand no chance to beat the other bike. So there we had, he left me by like uh, 40 meters or so. Yeah, so that's the other guy. He accepted that I had a really good launch, as you can see. There. So now we head over to the pit where we all assemble and then we discuss on how the heat was. So here is the heat, it's not quite far from the start line. Yeah, so. Cheki, Cheki, Angalia, Ulko Mesto Lama. So here is a 450 category. These two are actually brothers. And they give us quite a show. So once every bike gets to the pit after doing their hit. We all come back, uh, we are all escorted, escorted back by the uh, race marshal so that we can uh, uh, have more runs. I'm 
Angalia, to me race na Kevin. Enda, Claudio. Eh, to me race. First race, to the race. Oh. Enda, enda. So the first guy that we raced with, the race that I didn't record, uh, apparently they had us do it again because there are some issues. This doesn't usually happen, but well, more runs for me. point there was no need of uh, uh, trying to get faster than the guy he was far gone so I just had to enjoy the rest of the track I <laughs> Yeah? Uh, I'm not going to off road. To extend. One of the Yeah, I'm going to go to the bike. to go to the bike. I'm you, we were just uh, having fun. I was asking him why he was bragging for beating an off road bike. But to be fair, he was quite fast. So. So the reason we are going to all these guys after their races is because we can't see the finish line from where we are. So now we have to ask every person or every pair how they performed.
होगा त्या Everybody calls me the Daktari when I'm racing my bike, but otherwise I'm Adrian. I'm racing the 1000cc class with the Kawasaki ZX10. This beauty over here. She's almost the same age as me, but she is a dream. She's a beautiful bike to ride. Love power, love talk. If I did not miss, I did not mess up my gearing, Musa and Titan would have been mine. Oh my God, with a bike, that's the same age as me. Trust, trust. Come, 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 observe. We have an Olin's steering damper. This thing keeps your bike straight, especially out from doing wheelies at high speeds and putting it back down, stops it from shaking. We also have a quick shifter, which is not actually on, but it does have a quick shifter fit into it. It makes a nice bang sound. We have twin brother racing exhaust, two of them. Come check out the exhausts. Beautiful. Uh, aftermarket chain, sprockets for extra, extra power. It just looks beautiful. Just look at the bike. This bike is amazing. Crash bobbins. Nothing really done to the engine. Pretty much stock. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. It's just a quick shift that adds all the big bang with it. Uh, Ahmed Osman, they call me call me Captain Alpha on Instagram. I am riding a KTM 1290 Super Adventure R. Uh, it's a great event. I'm really glad to see the new generation coming up. We are the OGs or the pioneers of Kiganja, if I can call it. And I'm really happy today to see a whole new generation of racers uh, come up and try and continue the sport. What I love about my bike is the torque on it. Uh, it's amazing. You get the power when you need it. Uh, a lot of people say you need a seat belt for this bike. And I'm really glad I ride a KTM. I've always told myself I'll do a lot more, but I don't get the time. Longest distance I've done is a coast tour. Nice so Mombasa, Malindi, Diani, all those areas from Nairobi. Right after people left, we were supposed to be meeting so that we talk about how the race was and what people could improve on. So this is us heading over to the pit again once the race was over. So yeah. Remember, mm.
Ça. So when we were done with briefing of the race, we found out that uh, one of the bikers, the 1000cc category, was his birthday and this is how guys decided to celebrate his birthday. That's all engine oil by the way, and some bit of Coca-Cola, yeah, and a bit of mud also. So the reason they did this to him is because uh, apparently, what people said is that he's also uh, merciless when it comes to your birthday. You'll have it rough. So people are just paying back. So this is how guys decided to end the day. So please like, share and subscribe. Bye.